Guys, guys, you're not gonna believe. <laughs> guys, you're not gonna believe this awesome deal that we got up on the table here. This is from the Facebook Marketplace, $30. And what we're getting here is essentially a whole palette of computers. And I was shocked when I first saw this. Uh, Yusuf let me know. He's like, look, this has just come up on Facebook Marketplace. And then we contacted the guy 10 minutes after he listed it. He had it initially listed for 40 Aussie dollars. And I think he said initially in the listing, there were two pallets available. I said, I'll take both of them. But then he said he's merged them into one. So we'll do it for $30. I'm like, look, I'll be there as soon as possible. Uh, that's sold. And that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna jump in the ute with Dad Man and we're gonna go pick up this whole pallet of computers. In 2018, a lot of people are in the market for used parts, but if you're not, then ASRock have you covered with the Z390 Phantom Gaming 6, bringing that premium value with a 12-phase VRM that'll handle the 9900K of 5GHz using over 200 watts, coupled with awesome onboard audio and a 2.5 gigabit per second NIC solution that will prioritize gaming packets. This is what it's all about if you're in new parts. Link in the description below. So now we're on the road. I'm driving with Dad Man. Uh, he's keeping control of his ute and this is such a crazy thing because I'm going to actually drop off a computer I don't know if you guys remember this PC with the 1080 Ti and the 5820k uh, it's literally next door to the place where we're picking up the pallet of PCs so we're taking out two birds with one stone here and uh, I'll update you guys as soon as we get closer to the destination So we just got back now, it was quite a drive to get back from Brisbane and here we've just got, as you can see, a whole pallet of computers. So what we're gonna do now is get a box cutter, cut all this plastic off, and I'm gonna be very careful with my thumbs, don't worry about that. But after we do that, we're gonna check out everything inside these PCs, because I think a lot of them are 775, LGA 775, but I'm hoping some of them will be first gen uh, LGA 1156 as well. <laughs> So we're unloading now, we've got a total here of 15 PCs. We've already gutted this one and we got the lottery out of this one, a two gigabyte DDR2 stick. So that's already some good news, but I'm thinking we may even have a $2 League of Legends PC here. Uh, maybe make, might make a separate video. And we also got some cool stuff as well, like routers and switches and DSL modems, so. This is looking pretty cool. Let's uh, lay these all out on the concrete and then uh, I guess we'll just gut them up here because it'll save us a heap of time bringing them down to the studio. Anyone keen on a Pentium 4? Well, you said it's got a motherboard, but has it got a fatherboard? So we just gutted this one down here. It's a Core 2 Duo, uh, not really much going on. Power supply is really mediocre. Uh, but we did get a 2 gigabyte DDR2 stick out of this one too, so that's not bad going. So this one here has got a Core 2 Duo. We just pulled four 1 gigabyte sticks out. And then the one beside it, we've got two 1 gigabyte sticks and again a Core 2 Duo. So we might actually rip out the CMOS batteries as well as the SATA cables as well and try and maximize the value out of this one. And then there's this one here. We pulled out one two gigabyte stick out of this, but also the motherboard's pretty good. I might pull this motherboard out because it looks like it's just a general standardized motherboard. It does have an Akbell in it as well. This power supply is pretty much garbage. Yeah, I might pull that out as well. Moving across to here, we got two one gigabyte sticks in this one. Another Core 2 Duo, so it's looking like there's a lot of LGA 775 dinosaurs here. 
I'm kind of, I was hoping I'd get some like real juice out of this, but uh, again, we've got uh, two, uh, sorry, three one gigabyte sticks in this AMD Athlon X64 machine here. Uh, the motherboard definitely looks decent, so I'll pull that motherboard out as well, and the graphics card. And actually, to be honest, I might even just keep the case. It looks like a pretty cool case. So this one here, we got a two gigabyte DDR2 stick. So that's a little bit better in our luck. And then moving on here, this is, I guess, the grand prize of it all because it's got a really nice 600 watt power supply with four 12 volt rails, uh, dual CPUs, there's Xeons as well. So we're gonna be bringing this inside as well, checking it out a little bit more in depth seeing what CPUs it has, seeing if it even boots, because this might look like it is the League of Legends PC. So now here's the little HP, um, we got three of these, and they got one gig laptop memory in them, so it's a little bit of a bust. Next thing we've got here's an old uh, AMD PC, we've got the graphics card out here, the power supply is actually really bad, so you know it's a really bad power supply when that uh, essentially that 5 volt rails posting bigger specs than the 12 volt rail and then uh, we got here a 256 uh, megabyte graphics card so welcome back to the old school maybe that'll play League of Legends so we'll keep that around and sort of take that inside and then we got the Pentium 4 rig which is nostalgic got a heap of DVD drives but I've already got so many of them and then we're back to square one here but we're still going to open up uh, one, two more PCs. So we're gonna get inside of those and see what they've got. So this one here, we've opened it up, pulled out four one gigabyte sticks of DDR2. And then this Dell here was a similar scenario, but it had two 512 sticks and two one gigabyte sticks. Uh, it's got a garbage power supply in it, but not a bad case and not a bad motherboard. So we will keep this configuration here. And then this is the last PC we are pulling apart, which has a 400 watt power supply. So that's pretty decent. We can utilize that, case is okay. So we're gonna sort of stack up the stuff that we're keeping now and sort of putting the other stuff that we don't need on the back of the truck. So now we've sort of sifted through all the good stuff here and uh, that is a lot of DDR2 memory, like an absolute crap ton. So that's the positive thing to come out of that. That's easily worth, I'd say probably worth over $100 at least. And then we've got SATA cables as well. We can never get enough SATA cables. Then we've got five cases here with some intro. That, <laughs> that just came out there. It's like falling apart already, but we'll fix it back up with some silicone or whatever. And uh, so we've got that case, we've got this case, this case, and this one here, which looks probably the best after I give it some tech, yes, loving, it's going to come up really nice, especially for a gaming PC. But this one here, actually, no, I think it was this one here with the dual Xeons. This one's definitely going to look like it will be the uh, League of Legends $2 PC. It's the perfect candidate because it's got sort of more of the specs that we're looking for. It came pre-installed with four gigabytes of RAM. It's got two CPUs. Looks like it would have some decent onboard graphics, but I'm kind of actually curious. I know you guys are probably curious as well to see what kind of Xeons it's got in it. So I wouldn't mind just booting it up right now and then uh, taking a tour or a test drive in the BIOS. So we booted this computer up. It is super loud and that's pretty sure it's due to this fan here, which pushes a lot of air um, unfortunately for this computer, it's only got like really old Xeons and they don't even have like a actual number moniker to them. They're just called like officially Xeon 2.8 gigahertz. That, that's what they're called. So I think this one, uh, we'll, we're going to turn this off and see what else we have around here uh, in the studio. Because I want to do, I want to get the best pick for the uh, $2 League of Legends PC. So here it is here, this is the Core 2 Duo machine. We've whacked in that 256 megabyte graphics card, four gigabytes of DDR2 memory, and it's got a Core 2 Duo E4500 at 2.2 gigahertz. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. This could be the $2 League of Legends PC that you've all been waiting for, and uh, people have been asking me to do a sequel to that PC, but I've wanted to make it something that was even cheaper, something that was worthy over the adventures of Tech Yes City. And this looks like it is finally it. 
So let's move over to conclusion now and see what we've got here for this $30. So there it all is, $30 haul, and in USD terms, that'd be like $22 or something. Incredible. We got 15 PCs, and we just pulled out so much DDR2. And I'm actually going to go back and pull out all the Core 2 duos I decided. I'll do that tomorrow in the morning. It's actually dark now, uh, because maybe I can switch out some of the Core 2 duos and get the best uh, possible spec for that League of Legends PC. So we did $5 in the past. This time, we're going to go even cheaper and go for a pro rata $2 League of Legends PC. Looking forward to giving you guys that video. I've actually been waiting personally to beat that uh, PC in terms of value for money, and I think we're finally gonna do it with this uh, PC, or at least one of the 15 PCs we picked up. But other than that, we got so much DDR2. That's at least, as we said before, worth $100. In my opinion, I could probably flip that for $100. And uh, some of the other PCs, I might be trying to maybe put together some scuffed office PCs see if it's a new meta, see if some people are interested. And I'm gonna see what I honestly can turn this $30 into. I also gave Yusuf uh, some of the routers and switches and stuff. He was interested in that, some of those real mini PCs as well. Uh, but I think with this haul, I'm going to definitely grab that $30, change it into something, and possibly give you guys a new series. Maybe this is the birth of something new. Maybe it's that opportunity we've all been waiting for to see what we can turn $30 into. See if we can maybe turn it into a $2,000 PC in due time and vlog the whole process for you guys. Because I know a lot of you have been demanding that I do something like that. And this, I think, is the beginning of that. And we've also finally got Yusuf on. He's helping edit out the videos. We're getting ahead of schedule. Done the health videos. SR2 is dropping very soon. Part 1. And then after that, we're going to be completing the build. So all that juicy content is coming. And I'm personally going to be giving you guys, each and every one of you, that's right, individual Tech Yes Loving. I don't know how yet, but I'll find a way. And with all that aside, let me know what you think was the best part or best PC in today's $30 haul. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And also, don't forget to hit that scuffed slash grazed slash uh, injured thumbs up button. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. I just literally finished cleaning this studio up yesterday and it's already filling up with potatoes, but they admittedly are beautiful potatoes. I, should I give them names? Each and every one of these, the five. With the silver duckling. I don't know if this is weird, but my favorite part of today's whole haul is this Intel Inside Xeon sticker. Bring back the Xeon.